Bears ranks first in the class. Earning that honor for St. Benedict is Karen Vanessa Tejada. Vanessa is the daughter of Dick Marr and Hamina Tejada. I ask them to please stand. Vanessa holds a 4.75 weighted grade point average and is also a member of the St. Benedict 30 plus club for her score on the ACT. And of, our, of her 28 classes taken during the last four years, 20 of those were either honors, advanced placement, or dual enrollment classes. Vanessa is also an impressive artist. She's won two silver keys, two honorable mentions in the Mid-South Scholastic Art Competition last year, and a gold key, two silver keys, and an honorable mention in this year's contest. She was also the winner of the Best Overall Student Art Award, first in the Bells Museum Art Cut Contest in 2014, and she also designed a Christmas card selected by the Diocesan Catholic Schools Office as their official card last Christmas. She has also been selected as an academic all-star for art. Using her artistic talent, Vanessa helped create calendars for an art department fundraiser. She also supports St. Jude patients by designing Valentine cards for distribution and also makes Christmas cards for U.S. soldiers. She has been selected to be a member of the National Art Honor Society, the National Honor Society, the National French Honor Society, the National, National Science Honor Society, and New Alpha Beta. She is a member of the Art Club, French Club, and Key Club. In addition, she also tutors students in math and French. Vanessa is also a proud product of our Catholic school system and is a graduate of Incarnation Catholic School in Cairoville. She and her family are also parishioners at Incarnation. Vanessa plans to attend Cornell University and major in engineering. Vanessa Tejada. Good evening, faculty, staff, friends, family, and most importantly, graduates. First of all, I want to start off saying a huge thank you on behalf of our graduating class to the superintendent of the Catholic schools, Ms. Janet Donato, our principal, Ms. Morris, our assistant principal, Dr. Fisher, and the amazing faculty and staff of St. Benedict, our parents, especially my mom and dad, um, uh, family, friends, because without all of you, we would not be where we are today. So thank you for everything. Okay, so for those of you that don't know me, hi, I'm Vanessa Tata, um, and I'm going to try to give you a somewhat motivating, borderline cheesy speech that a handful of you might remember, and others will might just end up zoning out. But hey, that's okay, because like Father Mike said yesterday in Mass, most of you probably won't remember any of this. <laughs> okay, so here it goes. Can you believe it? It's been four years. Four years since we all walked into SBA not knowing what would happen. Four years since we all met each other, or at least the non-St. Francis people. Um, the SBA experience video, that was four years ago too. And I'm pretty sure it's also been four years since we won a pep rally. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Bilbrey. <laughs> well, it's been an interesting four years to say the least. Looking back, there are only a few things I distinctly remember. No, it's not the many, many tears shed on Ms. Rush's or Mr. Kozel's tests, or trying to figure out what college to choose. It's the memories of our class together. Like at last year's prom, when we danced so much the room felt like it was over 100 degrees. Or even spending this entire year trying to figure out what happiness is. Although I'm not completely sure if I understand what it is, I know one thing for sure. In life, do what makes you happy. 
Happiness isn't measured in money, money or materials, so don't spend your entire life only focusing on those things. I'm not sure about you guys, but the last four years with this class is what has brought me the most happiness. So as we are about to leave the nest, I want to share one last thing with all of you. On my last day of eighth grade, my English teacher decided to spend the class period reading us a Dr. Seuss story. Now, being a soon-to-be freshman in high school, I thought the idea of story time was really silly. But I went along with it, because, come on, who would pass up an opportunity of a free day in class? I'm like, really? <laughs> However, as she read, Oh, the places you'll go, yeah. Um, I realized I was about to start a new stage in life. It was a bittersweet moment, to say the least. I had grown up with my classmates, and I didn't want to leave. But I also knew there would be so much more to look forward to in high school. Fast forward four years. The bittersweet moment is still there, and in most cases, it's a lot stronger than it was in middle school. Now, I don't know if you've realized this, but we've spent 720 days together. That's 17,280 hours that we've been under the same roof working towards this very moment. And now that it's here, it's kind of scary to think it's about to end. 45. The SBA graduating class of 2016 is going to 45 different colleges in just a few months. And while that's really cool, it also means we're about to leave each other. That's where the bitter and the bittersweet moment comes in. I have many memories of our class that I'm never going to forget. I've made friendships that will last a lifetime, and I've learned several lifelong lessons. But now it's time to move on to the next stage in life. Now, I'm going to be all cheesy and read you a part of all the places you'll go. But in honor of what Father Mike said yesterday, you know, before he kind of took my speech idea, um, I changed some words. Ready? Okay. Congratulations! Today is our day. We're off to great places. We're off and away. We have brains on our head. We have feet in our shoes. We can steer ourselves in any direction we choose. We're on our own, but not really, and we know what we know, and we are the ones who will decide where to go. I know that no matter where we all go, we'll be able to go and do great things, and we'll always have a piece of SBA with us. So congratulations, class of 2016. We did it. <laughs> Thank you.